What's up my beautiful butterflies? It's the Awakened Butterfly and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Welcome back my day one butterflies. I have a very special video for you guys today. Today I will be giving you 11 tips, I'm sorry, 12 tips on how to raise your vibrations and feel good while doing it um guys these are some things that i um learned and i'm still doing it i'm still trying to um find my way on my uh spiritual journey i'm still healing um i don't know everything and I share what I do know. I also like to do a lot of reading and I like to do a lot of research. So um, I'm very um, open about how I present my information to you guys because it's very important. So I like to take my time and make sure, you know, I'm giving you guys accurate information. And these tips are things that I actually do in my real life to help me um, vibrate um, high and to feel good and healthy um, tip number one is to let go of anything that is holding you back from your spiritual awakening um, if you're seeing angel number uh, 111 that is a sign that you are either on your spiritual awakening beginning it or about to start it and you will start to feel um, you will start to feel the feeling of the symptoms of a spiritual awakening um also um old beliefs and thought patterns the past anything um that's trying to hold you back or that you feel is holding you back from your spiritual awakening set it to the side because god has a wonderful journey awaiting for you um tip number two is to focus on the things that inspire you um one of the ways that you can do that is to make a vision board because a lot of the times we have an idea of what we want to do but we really don't know uh what direction we want to go in and how we're going to go about you know doing it so a vision board is a great way for you to um make an outline of everything visualize it and put it together with you can do it with pictures from a magazine downloads from um the internet um, you can print things out and put it on a poster board and you know you can put dates and things of that nature titles or whatever you need to do to oh I'm sorry <laughs> um oh, let me fix my mic here okay but yeah uh, whatever you need to do in order to um, get the full visualization of you know what you want to do and where you want to go um, Tip number three is to follow your inner voice and intuition. Um, once you start to have your spiritual awakening, you will start to have a stronger sense of intuition. And I would advise everyone to go with it, especially if you're praying and you have a connection with God, because um, that is your inner self trying to guide you in the right direction due to your connection with God. So just it and the reason why it's important to um it's a way of trusting yourself so you know it's a way of protecting yourself as well so you know people who that don't have your good intentions can't come in and just steer you anyway it helps you stay grounded and you know stand in your truth as well um spread love and compassion um in order for us to receive love we do have to give love give someone a hug tell them that you love them um Pay for someone's groceries. Um, make a donation to your local charity. Um, you know, just take someone out to dinner. You know, just do something nice for someone. Let someone know that you love them because you never know what it does for someone. You never know what someone's going through. And it's very life-changing to know that it's someone out there that's very genuine and sweet in the world. Um, tip number five, detox your body. This is very important, guys, because a lot of the times our body um, can hold on to a lot of um, negative energies due to 
the toxins that are still in our body and it can come from a lot of the foods that we eat um we're not clearing the digestive tract or um the intestinal tract the intestinal tract so it could be a lot of buildup and it can really be holding a lot of toxins in your body so um what a good way to do that is to go on a um a five uh, or seven day liquid fast where you're drinking nothing but water or um vegetable broth or chicken broth or whatever type of broth but make sure it doesn't have anything in it just the broth itself and um this is a way of clearing your body and of any toxins and it will restore your body and mind and you will start to feel it like it's times like where i know that i hadn't you know released toxins from my body like i should and i would have like these crazy thoughts in my mind and things of that nature and it's like once i cleanse my body i felt so much better so that's when I realized that the things that we put in our body and the things that stay in our body has a lot to do with um, the way we think and the energy that um, is around us. Um, tip number six, infuse your water with love. My way of doing this is talking to your water. Tell your water that you appreciate everything it does for you, nourishing your body. Um making you um perform at your best you know um hydrating you um uh, uh, keeping a flow of abundance in your life you know um 60 percent of our body is made up of water and water is one of the main elements of this universe so we're actually connected to that so keeping our body well hydrated with water is important but um the way we um, the energy that surrounds our water is even more important because it consumes the majority of our body. So uh, a lot of things that um, you can do, and I used to do it, which I have to start back. I don't have any more small sticky notes. I just have the bigger ones. But um, you can put small sticky notes on the back of your water so when you drink it, you can see, you know, and you can recite those positive affirmations in your head as you're drinking your water. Um, let's see here tip number seven um cleanse your home um and not just it's not just uh i would say declutter and spiritually cleanse your home which means if there's anything that you no longer need just get rid of it because sometimes things that you don't need holds on to old energy um spiritually cleansing your home you could do a um you could uh, do a prayer to God and ask him to um, protect your home, release any negative energies, and um, please bless your home with a flow of um, abundance of love and positivity. Uh, you can sage. Um, these things will for surely help. It will, it will cleanse your aura and uh, not just around you, but um, your environment, your home. So it, it will make a big difference. Um, if you guys um, are into saging and you would like to sage, um, make sure when you do sage, make sure all the windows are closed, but open all of the, any doors, um, or cabinets, open the stove, open everything that has a, a door on it. Sage really well until it's, you know, very smoky, foggy or whatnot. And then that's when you open the window and let it all out. That's. Um, and go through each room of the house and sage everything and uh, recite positive affirmations while you're doing it um, eat a healthy tip number eight eat a healthy nourishing diet guys what we put in our body determines a lot um, eating a, a balanced diet um, is, is always good um there's nothing wrong with eating sweets, just not too many. You know, there's nothing wrong with eating a bag of chips here or there, just not all the time. And um, eating healthy does not mean depriving yourself of, you know, some of the things that you like to eat. But um, eating healthy majority of the time, healthy proteins, um, fruits, veggies. Um, sea moss is something very, very, very good to um, put into your health routine. It contains 92 of the 118 vitamins and minerals that our that our body needs. 
in order to uh, stay healthy and perform at its best. Um, it's good for joint pain, high blood pressure, um, diabetes, joint pain. Did I did I already say that? But uh, it's good. It's great for your skin. It's great for um, depression, anxiety. Like guys, um, sea moss is great, and um, there's some that's something that's really good to consider incorporating into your life. Uh, it helps cleanse the body, and that's always good. Um, drinking six to eight bottles of water or glasses of water a day. Um, Alkaline and spring water are two very, very good waters to drink at this time. Um, alkaline water is very good at um, re-energizing the body and uh, restoring the vitamin and minerals in your body. So um, those are the two waters that I drink, spring water and alkaline water. Um, sometimes, honestly, I don't drink my six to eight. Cause sometimes I get busy and I just my mind just gets thrown off and I don't you know drink as much water as I should. But guys, I'm working on it. I'm trying to uh, make it a habit to no matter what's going on to get my water in. And I want you guys to do the same. Okay, um, this is one of my favorites. Uh, tip number nine: dancing and listening to music. Guys, this is one of the best and most fun healing. Um, activities that you can do is very therapeutic it makes you feel good uh it makes you feel free it makes you feel like you're enjoying you know life um there's nothing like dancing to one of your favorite songs and you know when it makes when the song makes you feel good it brings good memories which brings in good energy so anytime you guys are feeling down do not hesitate to crank the radio up and get it in because you will be attracting positive energy all right tip number nine do what you love guys whether this is a career that you love a hobby or just a way of self-expression don't be afraid if it's a job that you've been wanting to do go for it don't be afraid because that might be your dream job and the fact that you're so passionate about it you're going to be very good at it um because you you're going to love doing it anything that you love doing is what you should be doing um a hobby that you may love whether it's singing or um poetry or art whatever it is uh don't be afraid to um express yourself in an artistic way because you can not only express yourself and make yourself feel good you can also uh, share this with the world which is a very beautiful thing um self-expression um don't be afraid to wear that hairdo that you've been wanting to try don't be afraid of what others think about you know that outfit that you have on or don't let anyone tell you that you're too young or too old to do anything because you're not as long as you get up in the morning that's another day an opportunity to do whatever it is that you're set out to do and don't let anyone steer you away from that with their negativity um Tip number 11, incorporate a spiritual practice into your daily routine, uh, whether it be um, daily prayer and meditation. That's what I do. I do more of the prayer than meditation. I'm trying to get more into the into meditating. Uh, it does ease my anxiety. Um, those are two great spiritual practices that uh, you can incorporate into your life to keep you balanced and at one with the Most High God, which is... Oh, guys, I, I, I really don't know what I would do if I didn't, I, I'm, I'm on a journey to get to know God more, but just the fact of knowing him is really opened my eyes to a lot of things. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, tip number 12 is to love yourself. And guys, everyone goes through stuff, okay? So please don't compare yourself to someone else and make and you know get so hard on yourself because we've all went through things and it's it was all meant to make us who we are today. 
So don't ever, you know, doubt yourself, put yourself down, love yourself because God loves you and you're a very special person. And if you knew how special you were, you couldn't do nothing but love yourself. And once you love yourself, it will manifest more people that will appreciate you and love you for who you are. It starts with us first, guys. We have to love ourselves. Um, just know that you're beautiful, you're unique, and you're special. And there's no one in this world like you. No one. And just know that each and every one of you brings something special to this table of life. And in a way, we all have our own personal life that, you know in our household and we share with our families and it's more personal and then we have a life that we share with the world so just know that you guys bring something special to both and you have a um you have a reason to be here and you're beautiful and you're smart and you're chosen so all of those things are great reasons to love yourself and i want everyone to know that and i love you so um that's why I want to share all these things with you because I don't want to just incorporate these things into my life and feel good. I want everyone to feel good because if everyone, you know, if we all can feel this way, it can help us to spread it to others. You know, we're trying to make more peace and love on this earth. And I feel like the way of doing that is sharing um, our gifts in thoughts and knowledge with others and yeah so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so much please don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video if you don't mind don't forget to take care of yourselves mentally physically and spiritually and until the next video peace and love